Hey guys and welcome to The Fish Room. I am Rachel O'Leary and it is time for a species spotlight. This week we're going to talk about the Phoenix Rasbora, which is a gorgeous hemigranus that comes out of Brazil. They have really impressive finish and some nice color. So let's take a look and I'll tell you more about them. The Phoenix Rasbora's Latin name is Hemigranus filamentosus and you can see where they get that name with those long, long fins. Now this isn't a fish that I've worked with before um, and they're, they're not very commonly available, at least it doesn't seem that way. There is some information on the internet about them being worked with in Germany by Aquarium Glosser. But they're really stunning and you can see that the males get that real rich redness to their anal fin and caudal peduncle. And I think they're really attractive. They're supposed to be very breedable as well, but I haven't worked with them personally yet. Now they come out of the Rio Tocantins drainage in Brazil, and the water there is relatively soft. So these guys, while flexible to stable parameters, probably would breed easiest in a softer water environment. Also water that's relatively warm, or 23 to 26 degrees Celsius, 75 to 80 degrees Fahrenheit. Now they only get about an inch and a half, or roughly three and a half centimeters. Um, I'm pretty excited to work with these. I think they're gonna make a stunning display in a heavily planted tank. Because they have that sort of subtle gold sheen and that beautiful red tail. Maybe these would be a good candidate for me to set up in a new planted community tank for you guys. Let me know below what you think of that. They are absolutely easy to feed, readily accepting anything that I offer them. And as you can see, they are just absolutely gorgeous. I hope to do a second part species spotlight on these guys in the future, which includes more detailed breeding information for you. Uh, these are a schooling fish, meaning it is really best if you keep them in bigger groups. My preference is for 10, but the bare minimum will be six or more. And they would be appropriate for a 15 gallon tank or larger. All in all, they are really striking and I'm very glad I got them in because they are absolutely fascinating so far. So as I continue to work with this species, I'll update you guys with what I've learned. Um, so far, I'm really blown away and even though they're a little bit larger than what I generally like to work with, their absolute beauty and peaceful behavior makes up for that. Let me know below what species spotlights you would like to hear in the future. As always, thanks for your continued support. Make sure you stop by my Instagram, my Facebook, and my website, MsJinx.com, where you can find my upcoming speaking engagements, my current stock list, and information on all things nano.